Hello student friends, welcome back to our Ace Engineering College channel and I am here to share with you the second video in the sequence of Infosys preparations. The second video is given by our resource person and trainer Mr. Krishnanand who will talk about preparation strategies in one of the most important components in InfiTQ certification examination object oriented programming. In this video, you will hear from him what is the syllabus and what are the important topics to focus on and the preparation. At the end, he will take a couple of examples also and approach for preparation and solving the problem and how to choose the right option. Hope this video will be useful to you. Thank you. All the best. Hello everyone. Welcome to our next sessions on InfiTQ certification. In continuation with the previous sessions which you have already observed, I'll just take you through the next set of learning for object oriented programming using Python. So there is one of the important module which is going to be asked in InfiTQ certification. Whereas in this area, you will get at least 10 quiz questions. So let us see what all the expectation out of this, right? We'll go to the object oriented programming using Python. This module is more than enough for you to understand and master the concept of object oriented programming using Python. Uh, we can see the overview and also content. We'll go through the content. So there is uh, starting with OOP introduction, OOP basics and lot of contents has been arranged in a very good proper uh, manner so that you can understand each and every concept in depth. And also you can do hands on practice sessions, right? So now I'll just uh, I'll just try to uh, make it very simple. These are all the different modules what we can see over here, right? And if you go for segregate properly, what is the learning methodology they have used it, right? So when you see the concept, these are all the concept. One is oops introduction, basic oops, and the abstraction, encapsulations, pass by reference, collection of objects, static, class relationship, inheritance, abstract, exception handling. Identify these particular concepts is the first thing okay and once you are able to identify in the given course snippet because when it comes to InfiTQ you need not to write the whole program on your own but whereas you will be getting a MCQ questions with including a course snippet so out of which you need to you should be able to select the right answer among the four questions so here we already have the advantage See if you can identify the concept and then you can easily go for answer the given MCQs and in supporting to that, so they have given lot of materials which you can use it for further reading. Say there are five set of uh, further reading things and also common mistake which you should avoid. Also certain reference document which has been given so that you can upskill uh, your knowledge in this domain. And also to ensure or to gain the confidence they have given assignment sets. You can see like five assignment sets and practice problems, practice quiz, programming playground, assessment. So basically this pack this quiz is the area which is going to help you out in most when it comes to understanding this particular concept and cracking uh, InfiTQ certification exam, right? So I'll just briefly take you through a concept so that you can go for identify the basic strategy what you can uh, go for use it first basic strategy which we are going to use is understand the concept oops concept next one you should be able to identify in the given MCQs. And the next one, you should be able to create that if it is required so that you will get more confidence and solve problems. But where it, uh, when it comes to InfiTQ certification, you can understand the concept and identify the given question. You will be able to easily solve that given questions, right? In supporting with this understanding and identifying or coming up with the solutions, first we'll see a simple example of a class creation. Okay, so I'll just take you a basic concepts of this so that you can easily able to understand the concept, right? So you will use the class keyword, class, say node, okay? We'll use a class keyword to create a node. We'll use a class keyword followed by class name to create a class. And for time being, I'll give it as pass so that I can create a empty class, okay? So the basic reason behind I'm creating a, a empty class is because so whenever we go for create any class, it is going to inherit a base class called object. Say for example, I go for create an object, say n equal to node. Okay, 
and we'll call it as a function and now I'll go for run it right so what we can see here is it is running properly without giving any errors let us try to understand what exactly happening in the back end okay we have not given any class attributes and methods simply wrote class node and we have created an object still it is not giving any error and running class node okay and we have not given any attributes neither we have created any of the methods over here but still what we can observe is the object has been created and it is running without giving any errors so as a foundation understanding we'll just go for print this particular object okay and we'll see what we are going to get so when we go for run it you can see this it has created an object at this particular reference which means n is a reference variable which holds that particular object now what we will do is we'll just go for see what all the inbuilt parameters when we go for write a class node and return pass which means without any attribute neither methods so when we create an object, it is able to create an object and it is running without creating any errors. So we'll just try to understand what exactly happening internally. I'll just go for print that reference object n and I'll go for run it. Okay. And we can see the output here of the same code. So we can see that object has been created at certain address reference. Okay. Now what are the inbuilt methods? and attributes available for that particular object we'll see with the example by using dir method okay dir function so that we'll just find the directories of all those i'll go for run it right and you can see that even though we have not included any of the methods any of the attributes we can see all these things already available inside node which means it clearly indicates that it is inheriting the properties of its parent okay these are all the inbuilt method which is already available right and you can see this uh, str method over here right so this is the method which is going to get us this particular output whenever we print the reference of an object so it is giving the like in which class and at which reference it is creating the object right okay so taking this as a foundation you can just go for follow the given infitq uh, contents in a proper order which will help you to gain complete knowledge right so i'll just take few set of questions and solve it so that you can understand what kind of question is going to be uh, given in the infitq and how you can approach towards solving that particular uh, mcq questions right initially what i will do is i'll just take one assignment set of question basically if you solve this assignment questions followed by the quiz question whichever has been given at the end you will be able to uh, crack the InfiTQ certification okay i'll just go through the question set of questions right so you can see the questions over here first thing as i said we need to identify and we should be able to give the answers so what is the output of the following code snippet we have a class a okay and we have a constructor so which has one instance variable self dot underscore underscore x is equal to 100 so which means it is a private variable right so we are going to create a object of a and they're trying to override the value of x fine usually we have an understanding that like we'll not be able to access the private variable outside the class but still they are trying to do that and they are trying to print the value of underscore underscore x so now what is the actually going to happen whether it is going to print 100 or whether it's going to uh, print none or it is going to give error or it is going to give it as 200 right so now we'll just try to understand properly see when you see the concept of like pri private attribute being updated without getters and setters you might think that it is going to give an error but no actually it is going to give it as 200 okay so we'll just try to understand that i have taken the same example and i'll go for run this okay and once we run this you can see that output what we are getting is 200 the output is 200 for this particular program execution right now let us just try to understand what exactly is happening and why we are going to get that to get this uh, complete understanding 
I'll just put a print statement here and we'll go for print dir of a so that we can understand what all the directories it has and after updating this value I'm going to do the same thing and I'll go for run this okay right so what you can see over here is right so in the first one when we created a private attribute this is the, this is for the first thing okay so we have created an object and then we are going with dir so once we create an object over here right what happens internally is all the directories i am printing over here so if you see the output so it is going to get from here to here it is all the inbuilt methods and attributes in that particular object has been given over here and you can see this what how many attribute how many attributes we have we have x as one attribute which is a private and if you see here we cannot see anywhere here because it has been given as underscore class name underscore underscore x this concept is known as name mangling okay now when you go for uh, update this right when we go for take a under dot underscore underscore x again and update it with 200 what it is happening is it is going to create an another uh, another attribute okay it is going to create an another attribute underscore underscore x and it is going to assign the value to that and if you see here the previous private attribute is also there as well as this is also there so even though it looks like we are updating private uh, variable of this class a even though it is appearing it as we are updating the private variable of this object a but actually it is creating a new variable altogether and it's going to up assign the value 200 to that so that is why when we go for print it it is not taking from its instance variable x it is going to take it from the new variable which has been created right so yeah the conclusion is once we go through each and every questions the first thing you need to understand so you should be able to define or understand in terms of why exactly that output so if you can do that you can easily go for solve all the problems one by one understand and that is more than enough for you to solve the given questions on object oriented programming using python in the InfiniTQ certification right so in continuation with this we'll see one more example okay we'll see one more example so now if you see this particular code snippet they're asking so they have given four options one two three and four the question is which one is right okay when you uh, see this example we have two class class a and class b right and in class b we have one instance variable and it's initialized to 200 and in class a we have two instance variable so whereas one has passed one object is being assigned to b instance variable b right now so out of this we'll try to understand each and every one so for making you getting you a uh, better understanding i'll comment all the options and i'll run one by one so that we can identify which one is going to be right okay so as of now it is running as of it's not running nothing i'm printing or creating so it is going fine so I'll just go for uncomment the last option for first okay and I'm going for run it and once you see that we are going to get an error of attribute error so a object has no attribute y so which means see we are trying to create an object b and now we are creating an object b and we are sending it as an input parameter for while creating an object a of type a and we are trying to access y see what is happening is this y is a instance variable for b so that is why it is saying that there is no it is it is saying that the a object has no attribute y so that's what the error what we got right so similarly we'll try to do the previous one okay and i'll go for run it right so even after running this we are getting the similar type of error that is attribute error a object has no attribute y so everywhere like in this example even in this example we are trying to access the variable y of for a object but there is no because there is no inheritance or nothing has been done so we will not be able to access 
this y variable from object a so we'll go for see this what they have done is they are creating a object a okay and passing b but we have not okay i'll just go for run this for the second option and if you see that we are getting again something as name error which means name b is not defined see in this code snippet we have never created an object b or something like so that we can send it to uh, a while creating the object right so what we can understand is it is since it is not having a reference to of b since it not having the b object created earlier it is giving name error right and we'll see for the first one right if you see this it is running properly now let us just try to understand we are creating object b and we are sending that created object b as an input parameter while creating object a and it's creating object a and it is being assigned to the reference variable a right so the summary is so how to approach or how to start learning object oriented concept using python in uh, supporting with cracking InfiTQ is take all the quiz questions first understand the concept take all the quiz questions run it and find out what exactly you are getting and try to understand what is the right way of doing that so that you can easily solve more and more problems and gain more and more confidence so once you start working with this slow you can even in supporting with this understanding a concept you can re refer all the reading material which is available for understanding the concept better way you can go to the infitq platform where you can refer the learning materials which has been given to enhance your knowledge okay so as we have seen here earlier so you can there are a lot of content which is already given in a good format starting from basic with all examples you can just go for refer these modules right and also like solving this assessment is going to help you to gain more confidence as well as understanding right so you should know to use this parallelly then you can gain more confidence and work towards cracking infiTQ certification all the best